I need you to think about your dream. That big life dream. Whether it's fear or anxiety, whatever it may be, I believe that every single person who's going out to chase their dreams has those voices in their head. I think it's part of the human experience. The sacrifices that you make behind the scenes will determine the stages that you stand on. You need to use guilt as your fuel. You need to start feeling guilty when you're not achieving or striving towards your dream. It's time for you to manifest. The real you is breathing down your neck, begging you to manifest. Stop lying to yourself. Stop letting you down. Log out of the social media. Get off the internet. Unplug and evaluate where you are and where you're supposed to be. Show the world how bad you'll fight to be in the winner's circle. If you can't find the key to your dream, then pick the lock. Either you find a way to accomplish your goal or you make one. You got one life to live. You don't realize your dreams are so important because your DNA, who you are as a person, is wrapped up in your dreams. See, those of you who will evolve, who are willing to evolve, you will inherit the future. Those of you who are willing to take everything you do to the next level, you will inherit the future. Stop being pushed around by the fears in your mind and start being led by the dreams in your heart. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. I got three words for you. Shut it down. Log out of the social media. Get off the internet. Unplug and evaluate where you are and where you're supposed to be. You got one life to live. But the question is, why are you here? And what are you going to do about it? Because the truth of the matter is, you have survived the greatest traumas of your life. Life has hit you. Life has knocked you to the ground. There are people that have tried to bury you alive and you survived. So I need you to disappear for 30 days. I need you to disappear for just one month. Don't worry about the prize. You worry about the process. You don't decide when you're born. You don't decide when you die. But you got a whole lot to do with that in-between stuff. Listen to me. Whatever you put your heart to do, whatever you put your mind to do, whatever it is that you want to accomplish, I don't care if you don't have no support. With me, you, alone, we can get this thing done, baby, all right? Who am I talking to? I'm talking to that person that's tired of where they are, and you are bold enough, you are crazy enough, you are courageous enough to shut it down for 30 days. The window of opportunity and sometimes the window of life, it closes quickly. And so I need you to do me a huge favor, man. I need you to get busy living. The future is very expensive and it requires sacrifice now. Can you depart from instant gratification and suffer now that you live the rest of your life a champion? All you need to get where you're going, you already got it, right? You already have it. All I need you to do is believe in yourself. Disappear for 30 days. Come back and shock the world! Can you identify what has kept you broken? What has kept you broke? What has kept you defeated? What has kept you covered under the blankets of anxiety and stress and overwhelm? But you're trying to make business moves with people that don't think like you. They don't walk like you. They don't sacrifice like you. They're not willing to put in the blood, the sweat, the tears behind closed doors. A man is rewarded in public for what he does in private.
I need you to disappear for the next 30 days. What does that look like? 720 hours dedicated to the future. I need you to disappear for 30 days. Just 30 days. Can you walk away for 30 days? Can you silence the doubters for 30 days? Can you tell everybody to be quiet for 30 days so you can focus on you? Who you are today has gotten you as far as you're going to get. If you're going to get any further, you gotta reinvent yourself. And if you're going to reinvent yourself, you've gotta shut it down for 30 days. I need you to pursue it. I need you to go get it, all right? I need you to go get it. Don't wait for it to come to you, all right? Greatness is not gonna come knock on your door. There's some opportunity that's not gonna come knock on your door. You gotta go get them. Without even knowing you, if you watching me, I already know you got something within that you wanted. I already know that. I already know you can. But my question to you young people this summer, will you? I already know what you're capable of doing, but my question is, will you reach your potential? You've been too focused on who was not there for you and who did not believe in you and the people that just said it but didn't do it. You've been too focused on that. The trauma, the anxiety, and, I, and I'm wondering if you can begin to shift that focus in the next 30 days, if you can begin to shift that focus on what's working in your life, what's within your control and not what's outside of your control. What can you control? Who can you influence? The first person that needs to be influenced in your life is you. It's you. You can't lead anybody. You can't go anywhere unless you have awakened yourself on the inside to follow a specific plan. Write it out. I need you to disappear for 30 days. Cheers to you. Nah, better yet. Here's to the new you. It's a new day, it's a new time, and a new era. Change can be scary. But you know what's scarier? It's when you allow fear to stop you from growing. To stop you from evolving. For far too long, regression has been a daily part of your life. And that all stops right now. So cheers to the new you. The improved you. The better you. See, everything you've ever wanted in your life is on the other side of the changes that you will start making today. It's on the other side of the consistent, intentional action that you will start taking today. So your goal is three months from now, six months from now, nine months from now, a year from now, is for you to be able to pat yourself on the back because you know all of the hard work and everything that you put in to be the new version of you. And it all starts with you taking that first step on your trek to your destination of greatness. See, those of you who will evolve, who are willing to evolve, you will inherit the future. Those of you who are willing to take everything you do to the next level, you will inherit the future. It is the individual who is willing to become more you're trying to get to the point that greatness, it just exudes you. Greatness is in your spirit. When you walk into a room, people feel the greatness that's coming off of you. You radiate greatness. I see change as transformation. I see change as evolution. I see change as beauty, brilliance. I see change as the future. I see change as necessary. I see that if I don't change, there is a generation of people who are going to be stuck in the same place. Change is inevitable. You are either changing for the worse or changing for the better. You decide. It's time for you to go from the downtrodden to next level living. You will die to the old you and you will resurrect the new you, the improved you, the better you, the person you were born to be, the person you were meant to be, and the person you want to be. So I need you to release the unchangeable past and embrace your phenomenal future. The lie, somebody lied to you and told you 
that it was impossible. Every time somebody told me I could not do something, I had a decision that I had to make in order to achieve what they said was impossible. Because greatness lives in you. It's just time for you to let the world see it. It's time for you to let yourself see it. It's time for you to believe it. The next level awaits. But the next level will require you to die to the old you and metamorph into the new you. The well on their way to the best you. People tell me all the time, it's hard to get wealthy. It's hard to grind. It's hard to be focused. How do you even do these speeches? It's hard to stay motivated. It's hard to stay broke. It's hard to stay depressed. It's hard to stay governed by anxiety. It's hard to be inconsistent. It's hard not to have daily disciplines. It's hard not to believe in yourself. It's hard to be broke. It's hard to be poor. It's hard. It's all hard. So choose your heart. You either gonna work for it, or gonna sit there and let life knock you down and dare you to get back up. You're blessed enough to make it to tomorrow. And you hear my voice today. If you're still breathing, you still have an opportunity to be achieving. Calling all reformers. I'm calling all innovators. I'm calling all game changers. I'm calling all world shakers. I'm calling all city shifters. I'm calling everybody that has an inkling of faith in themselves. I'm calling everybody. You will inherit the future. So new goals, new mindset, new beginnings, and guess what? New you. Every single thing that you do, you are casting a vote for your future self. So don't wait to feel pain, don't wait to get yourself in a place where you're desperate to take action. Because to really win, it's not a destination. To win is that constant striving and struggling for you to become your future self. Do something today that your future self will fall madly in love with you for. Sometimes you need to go find a mirror and tell yourself with tears in your eyes, I am the problem. Once we stop accusing everybody else for our inconsistency and our lack of execution, all of a sudden the world opens up. Drop the frustration. Once you discover your why, want you to spend the rest of your life, take your time, your talent, and execute. Many influencers and speakers will give you a grocery list of things you need to buy into in order to be successful. I'm going to give you three things. If you can just get these three things, then I wholeheartedly believe that the infection, the disease, the dysfunction of inconsistency will be literally eradicated out of your life. What's your why? You're going to need discipline to do what you do. And you're going to need perspective. You might get tested today. But you were born with mental toughness to fight through. There is absolutely and never has been any give up in you. So a champion like you, you gonna do what you gotta do to make sure the day comes that you rewrite the history of your family, that you leave a legacy. Either you do what you should be doing right now so you can live like you wanna be living in the future or you don't do what you should be doing right now. And I guarantee you, your future self will hate you for it. Is it possible that the greatest thing you ever do in your life will be the person that you become? That every single day you have the opportunity with all of the decisions that you make to create a future self that is better than you, that is more courageous than you, that is someone that has achieved all of their goals and dreams and ambitions. It's time to get out of the way. It is because of you that you are not where you want to be. You are the issue. It's you. Your issue is you. Every year we go through the same cycle. 
I'm going to eat better. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to cut off all negative people. I'm going to be optimistic. Come on, we say all these things. Two weeks later, everything hits the fan. If you study history, you will find that the men and women that turned the world upside down were the ones who got out of their own way. Your insecurity has been in the way too long. Your jealousy, your envy has been in the way too long. The fear you've been wrestling with has been in the way too long. Get out of the way! I need you to do something today that your future self will thank you for. Don't you get it? Get busy living. Get busy giving all of you. Give the best of you. Not for you right now, but for the you in the future. Please, please do yourself a favor and dispense with the excuses that you don't have time. Dispense with the excuse that you're not good enough. Dispense with the excuse that nobody will show up if I build it. That too many people are better than me. Drop out of the, I tried it last year and it didn't work. No, you didn't work. I get it, I get it. If we pull up your history, we'll find a lot of brokenness. We'll find a lot of trauma. We'll find a lot of empty places. If we pull up your history, we'll find a lot of failures. This must be the year that you are not defined by your history, but you fulfill your destiny. Why are you here? What were you placed here to do? Get to work. The dream will destroy you. Let it. All men are created equal. Some work hard in preseason. When I went to college, guys were way smarter than me. 4.0s, 3.0s. They went to the Ivy League high schools, came to Oakwood from these great high schools. Most of them are not doing what I'm doing. Why? Because it's not about where you come from. It's about heart. You got to let your dream destroy you. You got to give everything you got. No excuses. This is your opportunity to blow up. If you really want your dream bad enough, if you really want to go where you say you want to go, if you really want to do what you say you want to do, you have to let your dream destroy you. You have to let your dream break you down because that's the only way that you're going to be built back up. The, the version of you that you are right now is a blessing, but it won't take you to the next level. What got you here won't take you there. So let the dream destroy you, tear you down, redefine you, build you back up, make you stronger. The first version of Eric Thomas would never be able to stand in front of you guys. The first version of Eric Thomas, the high school dropout, that guy would have never been able to stand here and help you. I had to destroy that Eric Thomas. See, your problem is you talk a good game. But at the first sign of adversity, at the first sign of a setback, at the first sign of a hiccup, at the first sign of something not going the way you thought it should go, you quit. Let, let the dream destroy you. Let it strip you. Let it remake and mold you. Don't be afraid. Pain is what's gonna lead to that future gain. You gotta let your dream destroy you. You gotta give everything you got. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what we are for what we could be. I don't do well in math. You're right. You ain't never studied. I'm not good in writing because you have never written before. But I dare you to fail in writing for a whole year to see if you can get to the end. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes like you saw. Would a real Eric Thomas please stand up? Stop being this high school dropout. Stop giving up. Stop sleeping on the streets and get your GED. Stop being afraid to take a test. Stop being afraid to go to college because your daddy didn't go and your mama didn't go. Stop being afraid and be the best Eric Thomas you can be. But listen to me, it's going to be hard. It took me 12 years to get a four-year degree, but I got it. And guess what? On a degree, it don't have dates. So if it took you four and it took me 12, it don't show up nowhere. I need you to study like you've never studied before. I need you up all night long studying, getting about three, four hours here, hour and a half here, two hours here. You hear me say this all the time. For some of you, this is it. And even you say, Eric, look, man, you don't understand. If I put everything in, I'm still going to get a 1.0. I'm telling you to do it anyway because, you know, I told you, 
flunk English three times like when I was in college, right? Flunked it the first time, and I quit when they told me I couldn't pass. The second time she told me, you're going to flunk, I stayed in there anyway. And guess what? As stupid as this might sound, even though you flunk, you learn a, you know, a new concept, right? So that's one or two less concepts I got to learn the next year, right? And finally, that third time, I clapped it, which means you just take a test. And I took the test and I passed it. You don't get it. You have to give everything you got to get what you want. You have to give everything you don't even realize you have to get where you're trying to go. Don't you get it? When you do what they want, you will have what they don't. When you do what they refuse, they won't have the options that you get to choose. Because those are reserved for those who choose to move when others choose to stand still. Those are reserved for those that choose to get up when so many others couldn't find the strength to lift up and give more. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you, you can make sacrifices when Monday Night Football is not on. You can make a sacrifice, but when the game come on, for some reason, you just attach to it. You can make sacrifices on Sunday when ain't nothing going on. But when your favorite show comes on Monday, bam, some of you, you focus into the phone ring and then you like, I gotta answer it. If I don't answer the phone, I'm gonna die. I'm saying to you today that there are some of you, if you give up your cell phone, you would be successful. But your cell phone is more important to you than your success. You have to give it everything you got. No more TV, no more parties, no more plans. If you don't have a 4.0, what you need to be doing is studying. Get off the phone. I'm sorry I'm not available until the end of this year. <laughs> no, I'm for real. You reached the right number, but you called me at the wrong time. Call me back January 1st. I'm about to get busy now. Every time you ever got in trouble, somebody in your house got you out of it. Every time you've done something you're not supposed to do, people say, Eric, your mother's a tyrant. You're right. She kicked me out. You're right. She's mean, but she developed a man because she put me out there and said, you're going to have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. See, when you look at things in a different lens, in a different light, there's always a choice. There's a place where my life can be meaningless and everything that I do, why do I even try? Or is a place where everything that I do has purpose and it matters. See, it's always which way will I see it? And what I'm saying to you is this, Depression no longer to me is something that works against me. Anxiety is no longer something that works against me. I've learned to see it as a tool because pressure, pressure if it's not dealt with appropriately, it creates energy in this motion of something trying to get out. And if it doesn't find the right way out, that pressure can cause destruction and disaster. But pressure, it's also what's used to make diamonds. Pressure and energy and fire can create something of immense value. And so what I've learned to do when I think about the word depression, I can't help but think of the word the depths. I can't help but think of this word that has this inward feeling, this inward place. There's something deep inside of all of us. Depression doesn't have to be negative. Depression can be a tool that can help me learn that there's a place and a space for me to climb. That honestly, there are dreams and there are goals and there are things that you were born to achieve and that you were born to do. See, what helped me is to also find my why in my depression and in my anxiety. It's learning to step into uncomfortable. It's learning that coal, that fire, that ember, that pain, that trauma, that wound, that uncertainty, this place where I'm afraid of failing. I'm afraid of what they will think. I'm afraid of what they will say. It's learning to stop giving a care about any of those things, but understanding your why, understanding who you are will be birthed and you finding the courage to step into your story, not being afraid of that thing inside of you, that deep space, depression, anxiety. 
It's learning to use it for you and not against you. I know sometimes when we talk about depression and anxiety, it can be uncomfortable. It can be fearful. When we become honest and we're transparent and we begin to really focus in on an area in our life, when I think about perspective, when I think about the word depression and anxiety, for too long, we always have a negative thought. We have to think that we have to get rid of that feeling and that emotion. And well, here's what I'm saying. You know, there has to be a place where you begin to actually believe that you can do hard things. And maybe you don't think that you can, but you can. Depression, anxiety, these internal emotions that we don't always find to be comfortable. It's when you begin to realize that uncomfortable is where we need to be. For too long, I never found the courage to step into my story. I was too afraid to be uncomfortable. Well, that's where real change takes place. We're rare, we're scarce and unique. And that just means, that just means every choice we make Every decision, there's weight to it because there is no other you. See, there's a ripple effect in your life that we can feed what we want to grow and we can starve what we want to die. And when you begin to have the perspective of sometimes the negative energy, the negative emotions, the negative ways that you see the world, if you could just turn it on its head, if you can really begin to look at that bottle as not half empty, but as that bottle is half full, you can understand that every choice, every decision that I make carries weight. When I began to learn the power of punching fear in the face, not being afraid of failing, not being afraid of being uncomfortable, not being afraid of stepping into my story, stepping into my life and looking in the mirror and saying, I can do hard things. I know I can. And will it be perfect? No. Will at times we make mistakes and will at times, will it not be our best moment? Yes, but that's okay. That's part of the process. That's part of the journey. I live my life now at a place where I would rather confront, fight, and even fail than settle for just the comfort of staying the same. But I need you to shut down those negative voices every time they rear their ugly heads until you win. I know you're tired. I know you're broken. I know you're weary, I know you're sleepy, I know you've gotten numb. I know it seems as though there is no hope and you can get into this place of hopelessness and weariness and isolation. But right where you are, and some of you can't even see the light at the end of the tunnel, but right where you are, you gotta start now. You gotta stay committed. I don't care how tired you get, it doesn't matter how many times you mess up. Eventually, where you were a victim, you will be a victor. I believe in you. I just need you to believe in yourself. And realize sometimes you gotta trick yourself because there will be many days that you do not feel like doing what you have to do. But see, the resilient mindset lives by the motto of do it anyway and powers through any obstacles that try to get in its way because it knows next level greatness is right around the corner. So you gotta do what you gotta do. But when it gets hard, I want you to realize you could have took the easy route, but there is no easy route. So keep pushing, keep climbing, keep grinding, keep giving all of you to put yourself in position to win. And that most of what you see in the material realm that irritates you and frustrates you and causes you to spiral into these places of anxiety and depression is a direct result of your mentality, brain bias or a cognitive bias. If you want to blow up, if you want to be successful, if you're tired of poverty, if you're tired of lack, if you're tired of being where you are and you don't feel like you are where you want to be, just listen to me. Just do what you can. Go to class. Do your homework. Clean your room. I want you to remember this. 
You are not defined by the setbacks. You are not defined by your mishaps. You are not defined by your failures. Unless you quit. Unless you give up. But see, giving up is not part of your anatomy. Giving up is not in your DNA. Giving up is not who you are. And thus, whenever you face adversity, whenever that fear creeps into your mental, whenever you start to doubt yourself, you will immediately shut down those negative thoughts, shut down those negative voices, and rise up and pick yourself up and once I understand that tomorrow is not promise, that clock that is ticking, I'm taking it so gravely serious now. What I deemed was underrated, how I so grossly underestimated time, the gift of another day. I need you to stop pushing certain goals off and aims and targets and relationships and doors you need to walk through and tables you need to sit at. Stop pushing it off to tomorrow because tomorrow is not promised. Stop making excuses. Well, I'm gonna get to it later. You know what I'm saying? Not right now. I'll get to it when I can. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. That's why you ain't gonna never, you ain't gonna never be, you ain't gonna never have, you ain't gonna never reach your full potential because you always putting it off. And I told you before, there's some opportunities that are available today that are not available tomorrow. That there was a window, there was a sale today, and you could have got that jacket for 50 bucks. Now you gotta pay 250 for it. Why? Because you didn't get it when it was on sale. Yes, you can. Yes, you will graduate. Yes, you can. Yes, you will elevate. Yes, you can. Yes, you will dominate. And arrive at your desired destination of next level greatness. Look, look, go look in the mirror. If you don't have what you want to have, other than going to work with an attitude or not taking advantage of the stuff that's in front of you, I implore you three things. One, do, do, do what you can. If you're in school, go to, go to class every day. Do what you can. When you can. Because there's a window of opportunity. I don't know what your goal is. For many of you, it's to stop drinking or stop smoking or stop partying every day. Just being addicted to toxicities. Some of you are involved in toxic relationships and you are just flat out tired of where you are. And you know you need to break up. You know if you don't, you're going to spiral into a very dark place. And I just want to encourage you to start now. Little by little, make the decisions that are required to fulfill your destiny. Celebrate the small wins along the way. And that's exactly how you keep yourself focused. That's exactly how you keep yourself going. That's exactly how you stay fueled up. We're not looking at the ultimate outcome, even though you know what it is. You're taking it one step at a time, celebrating along the way, believing in you. Even when others don't believe in you, you are mentally tough at the core. So when they try to make you feel worthless, I need you to block that ignorance because I'm telling you that you're worth so much more. You got this. And you have to stop believing that you don't. I want you to take a second and think about the day you walk across that stage in your cap and gown. How you gonna be feeling when you can look back on everything that you had to overcome to be living in this moment? It will not be surprising that you will be overcome with joy and moved to tears because you understand all of the fears, all of the setbacks, all of the hard days, all of the struggle. It will move you. It will touch you. You will be overcome with a sense of pride because you got it done. Be intentional about bringing forth positive transformation in your life. 
your future self. Your future self. Your future self will thank you. Imagine what your life would look like if you decided that you will not stay stuck. Imagine what your life would look like if you decided that you refuse to give up. And I need the present day version of you to invest in your dreams. Because if you grind now, you, my friend, will shine later. No, it's not gonna be easy. I'm not gonna tell you that lie. There are gonna be a lot of long nights. There are gonna be a lot of days that you wanna quit. There are gonna be a lot of days that you trip, slip, and fall. And you have to muster up the energy to get yourself back up. But what you can never do is accept losing. You know the mindset, you know the mantra. You never lose. You only learn. And I promise you, all of the hard work that you're putting in today will pay off. And we've got to learn how to execute the day. Give us this day. We've got to learn how to execute the day that you conquer the day. What is it that you can do today to get closer to the fulfillment of that future? To get closer to the manifestation of the future? A few years from now, will you be living the life you've envisioned or will you be frustrated or disappointed because you set goals but you did not take them seriously? Don't negotiate with yourself when it comes to following through on the commitments you have made. Your future self needs you to have the courage to keep going when you face an intimidating challenge. And sometimes you have to extend your hand and hope you're in a circle where somebody will extend the hand back and help pick you up. Because you can't always do it by yourself. Sometimes you gotta ask the right question. Sometimes you gotta be soaring with the right eagles. And they can pull you along until you get yourself in the right mindset. And then we've got to be kind, not only to others throughout our process, but we've got to be kind to ourselves. The problem with many of us is that we're not kind to ourselves. Be kind to yourself. You can be assertive, you can be direct, you can be firm, but you can have a little empathy and a little kindness, not only on others, but on yourself. Because the truth of the matter is you are not going to always feel like doing what you were designed to do. And so we've got to condition ourselves for the stretch. With gratitude, we're going to need that coupled with patience. The future takes time to manifest. The future takes time. You're going to have to acquire a different set of skills, a different work mentality. It's going to require you to become a different version of yourself. Remember why you're doing what you're doing. It may be difficult, cumbersome. It may seem impossible. It's difficult, but I'm determined. You push through the pain and get back up each and every time. I need you to believe that in your heart of hearts. You cannot be broken. You're an unbreakable force. And everything that you're doing right now will eventually pay off in the long run. You gotta believe that. You gotta know that. Just look around. All of the people that you see shining, they're only shining because of consistent, relentless grinding. Your daily decisions, your habits, your programming, the way that you think, the way that you talk, the way that you walk, blood, sweat, tears, sacrifice, people that you have to let go, sleep that you have to lose, multiple jobs that you have to work, hours on the end of study, beating on your craft every single day. It's not easy, but it's worth it. There are going to be nights you're going to cry yourself to sleep. There are going to be times you're going to want to throw in the towel. But if you keep going, your future self will thank you. 
If you could hear your future self talking to you now, the future you would say thank you for not giving up. I believe in the future. I need you to think about your dream. That big life dream. The people who dream and those people who dream big have a different kind of life than the people who don't dream. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. Dreams require sacrifices. Like my city's expensive, move. My car payments are high, sell your car and take the bus. This is dreams we're talking about. We're talking about dreams. Whether it's fear or anxiety, whatever it may be, I believe that every single person who's going out to chase their dreams has those voices in their head. I think it's part of the human experience. Stop downgrading your dream to fit your reality and start upgrading your conviction to match your destiny. Stay strong, have faith, keep pushing through. I've said this before and, and I'm living proof of it is that on the other side of your struggle is something good. On your other side of your struggle is something better. On the other side of your struggle is some sort of success. Why would you waste one second doing something that wasn't progressing your dream? Go after this thing called life. Don't look back and have regrets. Understand that you're at a place and a position right now when hard work and valuing people, nothing can stop you, I promise you. So your dream will cause you to go insane because what you want, it hunts you every single night. See the big dogs, they won't give you the opportunity. You're gonna have to take it. I need you to remember your destination. You don't realize your dreams are so important because your DNA, who you are as a person, is wrapped up in your dreams. No matter what happens, you will not quit because quitting is not an option because you have a why, you have a passion, you have a purpose. I have a dream. Your DNA is in your dreams. Be the example for the crazy dreamers in this world. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. What you want exists. Don't settle until you get it. You need to use guilt as your fuel. You need to start feeling guilty when you're not achieving or striving towards your dream. You can use the people that doubted your dream as motivation. When your dreams are dying and when you don't have enough strength to go on, I need you to stop the procrastination. I need you to let go of all limitations. So I'm here to tell you today that you can have anything you want, be anyone you want, but you're gonna have to work. See, dreams, aspirations, they're not easily obtained, but one of the hardest things to do is to keep going, is to keep chasing. People will give up their dreams for certainty. But I'm telling you that your life will start to change when you become more committed to your dreams than your comfort zone. Stop being pushed around by the fears in your mind and start being led by the dreams in your heart. This is your moment. And you gotta look in the mirror and believe that. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So take advantage of today. Take advantage of tomorrow. Take advantage of every opportunity that you have to do what you want in life. Life's too short to be working on someone else's dream. And I know it's difficult to follow your dreams but it's even worse if you don't. You have to find a way to build your own dream. 
or someone else will hire you to build theirs. If you give up on your dream, what's left? Because the people who accomplished their dreams in this world stopped telling people about them and started showing them. They never once gave up on a dream just because of the amount of time it took to accomplish it. No, they knew that the time was going to pass anyway. Every single successful person that accomplished a dream will tell you that as soon as you truly start pursuing your dream, your life wakes up and everything has meaning. You need to know without a shadow of a doubt that it's going to happen. And when you believe wholeheartedly, then there's no need to call it a dream. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. It's simple. You either change your dreams or enhance your skills. The amount of work is the same. Every person that did incredible things in this world had to dream crazy, dream big. Don't wait for the perfect opportunity, create it. Thomas Edison, he was fired from his first two jobs. His teachers coined him stupid that he couldn't learn anything. This is the man who invented the light bulb the first thousand times he failed. But he was never a failure. He just found a thousand ways that don't work. You're no Thomas Edison. You didn't try a thousand times. Try a thousand times and then come talk to me and tell me you're not enough. Tell me you don't have what it takes. Tell me you're stupid. Tell me you're dumb. Tell me you're slow. Tell me you don't have enough. Whatever pushed you to the ground, whatever knocked you to the floor, from that place, I want you to look it in the eye and tell it, tell that person, tell that circumstance, tell that place, tell whatever it is that knocked you to the floor, you can't keep me here. But up until now, you haven't taken the necessary steps to put yourself in a position to win. The next level awaits, but it will require you to shut yourself down, put yourself in a room, get out your pad and paper, and start writing each and every goal that you have down and start coming up with a plan and start executing that plan. Oh yeah, you're gonna fail, you're gonna fall, you're gonna have setbacks, you're gonna have adversity, you're gonna have things that slow you down. But that's why the word revise was created because it means you have to go back and sit down again and revise and restructure and realize what worked and realize what didn't work. If you're going to understand the program of resiliency, we are going to have to stop running from difficult times. Stop praying that the storm will pass over you and pray to grow through the storm. Stop going around it, go through it. What you go through, you will grow through. Some fights are not won in the first round. Flat out, and the moment that you get that and you get crystal clear and you accept the fact that there are some giants that you will not defeat in the first round. You're not gonna hit the million with the first investment. You're not gonna hit the home run at first swing. But resiliency says, I belong here and I deserve another shot. I want my opportunity. Give me my opportunity. See, the mindset of success embraces the difficult days. It keeps grinding because it knows that in the end, all of the hard work pays. Hard work pays off. But if you commit, 
If you have self-discipline and you do the things you need to do on a daily basis, six months from now, greatness will arrive. Six months from now, the world will see the new and improve you. Six months from now, you will walk with a confidence. You will walk with a swagger. It's time for you to ghost the world. It's time for you to disappear for six months. Will it be easy? No. That time period will test your mental. That time period will test your will. That time period will test your inner strength. But I'm telling you, you're not the first person to go through something. You have to go through something to get to something. I'm disappearing, y'all. I'll see y'all on the other side. Next time y'all see me, you won't even recognize me because I'm gonna radiate the greatness that lives inside of me. Disappearing for six months will be the best thing that I ever do in my life. There's no rear view mirror. You cannot look back, only look ahead. I need you to endure the sour taste of now to get to the sweet taste of later. Disappear as a mess and reappear in six months ready to live life at your best. This is a great day to win.